So uh, today we'll be checking out our uh, updated plugin. That's the Magento 2 gift card plugin. Now this particular plugin allows the admin to create gift cards or the gift certificates using the gift card product type. And apart from that, uh, the admin can create uh, directly multiple number of gift cards as products and uh, they can be enabled or disabled uh, by the admin by changing the status of the gift card. Apart from that, the admin can set the maximum number of days to redeem a gift card. And uh, can you note that this particular extension is useful for those who want to give something to their friend, relative or persons electronically. So today I'll be just uh, taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin. That's the Magento 2 gift card or the gift certificate plugin. And first we'll be seeing how to purchase a gift certificate and how to uh, then we'll see how to redeem the gift certificate. Lastly, we'll be seeing how to create the gift certificates and the initial configurations uh, or the uh, initial configuration settings required for this plugin from the admin backend panel in the last of this particular video. So right now you can see that I've already logged into my customer account uh, within the Magento 2 store there. And I'm right now on one of the gift card products. As you can see, the price of the gift card is $50. And uh, here we have two different sections that need to be entered by the customer. So as a customer, for example, I want to uh, give this uh, particular uh, gift card to one of my uh, relatives there. So I need uh, my relative's email address. So for example, I'll just get ahead and I'll enter my relative's uh, email address. So the details of uh, the gift card would be sent uh, onto this particular email that I've entered here and there would be a, a coupon code there that can be utilized by this particular uh, user uh, whom, uh, whose email I've used uh, here and uh, to whom I want to send this particular anniversary gift card to. Now then I can enter the message as well, a custom message that would be visible along with the email uh, having the coupon code. So let me enter the message here. Uh, uh, for example, stay, uh, stay blessed and enjoy the card discounts. Okay. And after that, uh, what I need to do is I need to add this particular gift card into my uh, into my uh, uh, here uh, this cart here. So what I'll do is I'll just tap here on the add to cart button and the details would now be visible within the cart as well. So you can see that you have added the anniversary gift card to your shopping cart. Now if I tap here on the shopping cart, you can see the name of the uh, gift card and here under the details, you can see the email to, uh, to whom we are sending this uh, anniversary gift card to along with the message stay plus and enjoy the card discounts. Now kindly note that this uh, particular person who will be receiving this uh, gift card should have an account with the same email address on the store there so as to uh, redeem the coupon code there. So I'll just show you that in a moment from now as well. So now after adding it into the card, let's proceed to the checkout there. So uh, we'll be proceeding to the checkout as a normal product there. Uh, there's nothing much uh, uh, there uh, for this uh, gift card. So on the payment method section here, we just need to choose our payment method. So for now, I'll be choosing check and money order. And on the right hand side, you can see under the order summary, the email to and the message is visible here to the primary customer. So I'll just tap here on the place order button as a primary customer. The secondary customer would be the one uh, whose email address we have used here. So you can see that the order has been placed uh, successfully. Now. Uh, whenever you can see that the order has been placed I have received one email as well now uh, whenever the admin generates the invoice for this particular order at that time an email would be sent out uh, 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 to the email that we had uh, entered uh, here uh, let me show you that uh, let me go to the gift product card here uh, section and here so the email that I had entered here within the email too would receive this email whenever the admin generates any noise from the backend for this particular uh, order. So uh, let's go, go ahead and uh, let's uh, generate the invoice for the same. So for that, I'll just take you to the admin backend panel. Let me log into the admin backend panel first. And then I'll be navigating to sales and then orders. 
So here you can see the order number 548 is there. Its status is pending. Let's move the order and let's generate the invoice by tapping here on the invoice option at the top and that will bring up the new invoice page. So here's the, uh, you can see the details of the anniversary gift card. Here's the email too and the message, stay blessed and enjoy the card discounts. Now when the invoice gets generated, an email is sent uh, on to the test at the of webcool.com and the details would be then accessed by that particular user. So let's tap here on the submit invoice button. So you can see that the invoice has been created by the admin and this is the email that the customer receives as you can see here hi dear a gift card has been uh, gifted to you by john doe the gift card code this code can be utilized for purchasing uh, within the store itself but the email should be registered there on the store there uh, here you can see the price and here you can see the message stay blessed and enjoy the card discounts and here as well you can see the expiration of this particular uh, coupon code that we have or the gift card uh, coupon code now let's copy this coupon code and let me show you how we can redeem the gift uh, gift certificate there on the store so for that let me take you to the store front once again so I'm on one of the categories here for the furniture so uh, I have received the uh, coupon code as a secondary user but now uh, while I uh, while I log in to this particular account here within this particular store the same email should be registered there only then I can uh, redeem the coupon code now let's add this wooden chair to the cart and uh, let me tap here on the view and edit cart so that we can apply the coupon code here the one that we received so here's the gift card discount I'll tap on that I'll paste this coupon code here now I can make use of the complete amount or the partial amount as well uh, to uh, make the uh, payment here. So I'll be just using around uh, $30 from that because of the, the amount for that was uh, $50. So I'll be uh, using 30 amount right now. So I'll just tap here on the apply discount button now. And uh, we'll see that the gift card, you can see that the gift card discount has been applied successfully. And here as well under the summary you can see that the gift card coupon for $30 has been applied and now the order total is $150 only. So that's how uh, the gift card can be utilized to redeem the amount there within the store and you can uh, then place the order after receiving the gift card coupon discount there. Now uh, this was the workflow at the primary customer, the secondary customer who receives the gift uh, card there or the gift certificate. Now let's see how uh, to create the gift certificate uh, from the admin's end. So for that, I'll just take you to the admin backend panel. Let's go to the dashboard there. And now uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be going to the section. Uh, that's the uh, catalog. So I'll just go to the catalog section. And here I'll go to the products. So uh, on the product uh, section here, we'll find the complete listing of the products that we have created within our store. Now to create a, a gift card product uh, there, from the drop down I'll choose the gift card. So here you can see the gift card product type is there. So I'll just tap on that and that will bring up the new product page uh, there to create the gift card or the gift certificate itself. So here's the new product page. Okay, so here we'll be entering the basic details of the product like the product name it's SKU, the price that you want to set for the gift uh, card or the, for the gift certificate. So basically you need to just set up the regular details of the uh, product there for the gift card product type. And uh, you just need to select, uh, set the name there, the SKU, the price, the quantity, uh, the stock status, choose the category, uh, set the visibility on the catalog and search page. Uh, you, if you, want, you can add the images uh, for the same as well. And after that, you just need to tap on the save button to save the uh, particular gift card product type there uh, from the admin backend panel. And after you've created that uh, up, you'll find that particular gift card being listed here under the product section. Here, so if I just uh, uh, uncheck that uh, search one and and if I search for the uh, keyboard, that's the anniversary gift card, you can see the gift card being displayed here. Uh, with the SK, the price, quantity, the uh, defaults, uh, default values there 
uh, of the gift card itself so that's how you can create the gift uh, certificate from the admin backend by easily navigating through catalog products and then from the drop down choosing the gift card and creating uh, it as a normal product then it gets visible at the storefront as a normal product as you can see uh, and as we saw it in the uh, front end workflow there and then uh, you can add the email to message and add this particular product into the cart to make a checkout thereafter so now let's uh, hop on to the initial configuration settings uh, for this plugin so for that you'll have to navigate through stores and then configuration on the configuration page under the web cool block you'll have to navigate uh, to the section uh, I'll just show you that's the gift card and here we have three different uh, sections to configure so the very first one is the gift card email setting so here's the gift notification template so you have to choose uh, the template that would be used to send out uh, the message uh, to the secondary receiver that uh, he has received uh, a gift card uh, from uh, the particular customer there so here's the gift notification template that he will be choosing up then you have the gift card left amount email settings so here you need to set the name of the admin in the mail that would be sent out to the customer the admin email that would be used to send the mail and uh, here's the left amount notification template that you need to choose so you'll choose the gift card left amount notification template so whenever uh, the uh, uh, secondary receiver is using that particular coupon code uh, to get the discount and if he is uh, partially using that particular amount uh, there then at that time the gift card left amount email would be sent out to the customer respectively and lastly we have the gift card active duration so this uh, whenever uh, the mail is received by the uh, secondary receiver of for the gift card at that time you can see that within that mail we have the expiry uh, time there okay so that is set from this particular section so you can set the number of days uh, for the active duration of the gift card itself and uh, that's much about the configuration you just need to tap here on the save configuration button thereafter also you have this gift card option here under that we have the gift card details so here you can find the complete details of the gift cards that have been created that have expired along with this status as well so here you can see that some of these are expired some of them are uh, active right now and here you can see the from and to values of uh, the uh, gift card uh, the sender's name or the sender's email and the receiver's uh, email there along with the gift co uh, coupon code visible there along with the order ID the price the left amount the order time and the expiry time along with the status and the expired column as well so yes that was much about the Magento 2 gift card uh, or the gift certificate voucher plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com raise a ticket at webcool.us.com and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.